Okay, so let's talk about a big thing that happened since our last interview. Cat Williams went on Club Shay Shay. And you got brought up. He said, most comedians don't get booed enough. This is how you wind up with a Michael Blackson, who's a real African doing a fake African accent. He said that he gave you the best advice of your life and said that you used to wear dirty daishikis <laughs> and you should dress to be in the position that you're trying to be in. And he also said that if you're trying to be the king of African comedy, you should open a school in Africa. <laughs> said that you took his advice, changed your whole persona, <laughs> and then hated him for it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about Cat. Cat lies so well, right? that he almost made me believe what he said about me was true. That's how good of a liar this guy is. You know, we are like in a moment of like, you know, everybody telling how to feel. You know, people are getting older. The older you get, the less fuck you give. You know, at the same time, you know, you start to speak your mind and you know, whoever has ever pissed you off, you know, there's a time to fuck everybody back and just, you know, there's nothing wrong with speaking your mind. There's nothing wrong with, I mean, I was just, a, tip of the iceberg. I mean, he went big on everybody. Oh, yeah. You know, um, and I just believe that, you know, we're in America. It's okay to speak your mind. Say whatever you believe. But you don't have to tear each other down. You don't have to tear people down doing that. And you don't have to lie. I mean, there's so much, you know, don't get it wrong. I mean, the thing about it, there was so much, there was a lot of truth in what he said about different things that's going on in Hollywood and people. But it was a lot more lies. Okay, so tell me some of the truths that he said. That you're like, okay, yeah, that's true. I mean, uh, Steve Harvey had a wig. That's probably true. <laughs> was that an actual I mean, wig? Yeah, uh, it wasn't like a hair transplant or nothing? No, nah, that was like a black loofah he had on his head. A black like... loofah. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Harvey barber used to bring the hair to the shop. Hey, let's go. This is the hair you're going to wear today. Just put on his head like a crown. Uh, this here you go. Um, go ahead. You ready? No, Because I remember his like lineup was like, it was like down to a molecular level. <laughs> it was so straight. That you, you know what I'm saying? You could use it. You could use it for scientific experiments. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen a lineup that was like perfect. Remember that lineup when you yeah, had it? Yeah, he had some perfect headline, man. I yeah. had no clue. I mean, honestly, I don't know if it was real or not. I never. I just well, he went totally bald afterwards. So yeah, that kind of tells you you can't go from this to like you know, to alopecia all <laughs> overnight. That makes no sense. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you can't go from Jackson Five <laughs> to to Jada Pinkett. Just yeah, you know, you overnight. can't go from the Big Daddy Kane to motherfucking uh, <laughs> to nothing. Onyx, you know.